I think we're underway here. Welcome, everybody. We are live. I'm going to start a few minutes early here because uh, i got a lot to do today. And I want to make sure that you uh, get a chance to see what we're going to do. We'll talk about it briefly, what we're going to do. And then we're going to do it all right here live on YouTube. We have a couple of different options. Have your vertical over on the uh, Cash or Crash Las Vegas live channel. And then we also have the uh, horizontal over on the Las Vegas private eye channel. So a couple different options today, depending on how you want to watch. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, thanks for joining us. We have 10,000 US dollars that we're going to process today. We have to put them in uh, paper clips and things anyway. So this is our chance to uh, do it and share with you and look for some rare currency and fun things. Try not to wreck my leg too much on the uh, middle table. We're here at the English Hotel in the vault room at the beautiful English Hotel uh, tapestry here. If it's your first time joining us for this, uh, maybe it's unique, maybe it's not, we'll find out. But what we do is we're going to go through these uh, stacks of bills that came from the Federal Reserve Supply Bank here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, each one has a date and stamp on it when these were bundled up uh, by the Federal Reserve Bank supplier here. We have some $20 bills. There's uh, $8,000 worth of those. And then we have $1,000 worth of uh, $5 bills we'll go through as well. We're going to start with the fives. Random stacker. Yes, we're looking for star notes tonight, today, this afternoon, depending on where you're at. We'll start with the fives because that's uh, usually the least exciting of them. And this will be our warm up. We also got a torn one to start, which is no fun at all. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here on the vertical so you guys can see. And we'll zoom in a little bit here on the horizontal so you guys can see. This will be our main work area right here. We got it all set up. I'm gonna put these scissors here as a defining space for what we're doing. Uh, Diana McMahon is here, uh, Vin Julian, welcome. Keon Green, Renee T. Uh, we got both channels going, so we'll do our best to keep up with the chat on both sides. And the Fed, silver and gold stacker here. Cool. Good to have you with us. Wish I had some silver and gold to stack. That'd be fun. Let's we'll start with some fibers, just because we are here. Uh, all you uh, moderators, just keep the chat flowing. Everyone's welcome. Good to have you here. We're we'll looking for some fancy serial numbers. I found a bill, a brand new bill from 2013. Uh, someone spent it had all different numbers except it repeated the two one time. So it wasn't quite a, uh, a uh, what do they call it, a stairwell, stair serial number. Sam and Phil, it's Vegas time. Good to have you with us. So basically, we just flip through them. Uh, they're not always in the same direction. Looking for anything unusual. See if you guys can see that. Let me get a better shot of this for you if I can. Zoom it in. There we go. So now we're over here. I think you guys can see the numbers, maybe not. We're gonna try to figure out how to make this work. I may have to move some of these cameras around. In fact, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the uh, horizontal folks out of your holder and turn it around. Hey, what's going on? You carry a lot of cash, very cool. So the horizontal folks, we're going to put you up top and zoom you straight down at it. So let's figure out how to make this work. Stand by for any kind of, yeah, like that. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Okay, there we go. We're back. There we go. Now, there you go. You guys can see directly on. And then our friends on vertical over here, you'll be able to uh, see exactly what we're doing from this side. So we have double dipping. Let me turn this guy off. By the way, someone asked, what is the new uh, gimbal that you have? This is it right here. I'll show it to you. It's the uh, Toki. M013 axis gimbal stabilizer. This is the manual. And basically, uh, it's a watered down version of the really good one that I got that Bron sent me at one time. So it is what it is. Random second, there are new ones. And uh, there's a new one. The only one I know are star notes, radar notes, and birthday notes. Birthday notes are pretty cool too. You have birth years and such. So right here is our friends over here. I'm pointing to it. Our vertical, I'm going to back it out ever so slightly to make a little more space. And then, of course, up top here, directly down on it, you can actually see the serial numbers right here on the horizontal. So you got your two choices. Uh, Idaho Potato doesn't use cards. Idaho's that way, yes. Let's see. Can you see? 
Oh, say, can you see over here? I'm going to do it at an angle so the serial number shows up here on the vertical, folks. Look at that. We'll zoom in on that for you. Just learning how to do all this stuff. We'll get there. And then uh, there you go, horizontals. We're good to go. This is why we started early. Make sure we work all this out. Tina, good evening from Kentucky's here. It's Vegas time. So some of these, uh, there's absolutely no value other than their face value. That's fine. Fives we flip through, looking for the older ones, looking for any kind of a seven or eight of the same numbers. Uh, someone found a $20 bill with all sevens that looked like they put it on the internet. It's pretty cool, except for the last, second to the last one. It's like all sevens, then nine, seven at the end. So missed being worth a fortune by a couple numbers there. Uh, if you have any favorite numbers, oh, here's a taped note. Someone put this back together. On these, just got to make sure the serial number is the same on both. Yeah, good times. The star notes, when we get to the ones, that's where we find the plethora, the bulk, the uh, abundance of star notes. Do you ever find any silver certificates? Not yet here in Vegas. Not yet. The people, the bankers here in Vegas are pretty astute. I've actually found more silver Morgan and Peace dollars in slot machines than I've ever found silver certificates in, uh, in circulation here in Las Vegas. It does look just enough different that people know that I should probably save that with the blue seals, that kind of a thing. Blue seals are hard to do, especially in the Arctic. I hate the fact that they don't do, uh, these, they don't have these set up properly from the bank. So what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom in again, like this over here on the verticals, and you guys can see... Love finding all the Soviet pins and medals, yes, at uh, thrift shops and such, yeah. So we're going to just have that over here so you guys can see on both cameras the serial numbers as we go through them. There's a bunch of ones on this one. 7-Elevens, not enough though to be worth anything. Flip them over, all beat to hell. Sometimes there's a whole run the other way. When they get these, they kick them out of a bank machine. They load up a bank machine just so they can kick them back out and then restrap them. Yeah, the uh, Clarion Hotel Casino, before we blew it up, had old dollar Wheel of Fortunes, and they would buy $300 at a time of uh, Eisenhower dollar bags from banks. And they got harder and harder to find. They started finding them deeper in vaults. And I would go through the bags first. Sometimes I was out of town, and when I came back, they dumped the bags in the machine, so I had to empty out the entire machine with uh, paper money and find some old piece and silver dollars mixed in, a piece and uh, Morgan dollars mixed in. It's fantastic when that happened. Bunch of zeros on this one, 033-0009. They're not in a row, not enough of them to really, you know. You collect Australian Shepherds, fantastic. Uh, of course, I sold those right away. You know, it's fun find stuff and sell it right away. It's instant profit. These fives, uh, the older fives have a distinctly different design. They just pop right out at you, whereas the ones, not so much. You can go back quite a few years with the same design. And we got nothing in that first run of fives. So that's how we're going to do it. This is our warm-up. Got Peggy L is here, RJ is here, Tina, Gail, South Australia, by the lake, one, two, three. It's Vegas time. I digi dude. Welcome, everyone. Let's do, uh, while we continue to warm up here, Mountain Standard Time Zone. Cool. Fantastic for the nooners. And flip these around to make it semi easier for us. Because it does uh, all those actions, the herky jerkies, the flippy floppies, all that makes it harder to focus in on the bills. And we want you to have as much fun doing this as I am. I actually do this anyway so that we get ready for our tip outs of our employees. And so might as well share it with everyone. And bring it to you. I'm waiting for that guy who comments on every one of my videos and goes, what's the point? Why'd you do that for? Oh, look, we got a, st oh my goodness. Hold on. We got a couple star notes to start. Let me, let me pull these up here. Hold on. Yeah. All right. What do we get here? This is very cool. Let me get my glasses on. Just flipping through them. So this is a 2017 A PE 0232 -02 Numbers are a little bit offset on this one right here. And then it's a 0232 0689 star note, both from the same series. 
back to back. I don't believe they have consecutive serial numbers all the time on these things. Uh, this is close enough, though. It's within a few of each other. This is outstanding. Two fantastic star notes. So look at this star. Make sure it's got the hollow star on it. Sometimes they're filled in with ink. Uh, other things that might happen. These are not specifically super mint perfect because they got a little bit of dings here in the corner. But those are really nice notes right there. So those are our first two finds. Some $5. I was just talking about how there's nothing to find in the fives. And back to back. That is so cool. All right. We'll put these over here. That's our first two of the night. Our first catch of the night. Very good. All right. Let's keep going here. That's uh, the PE series. Put that over here. I do have a box came in today. We're going to open it up. Ask for some money. Billy here. Can I have some money, please? Appreciate you asking me to ask you. All right. Let's keep going. Did not expect anything from the uh, $5 bill. So that was really cool. I won't go as fast as I normally do so you all can uh, see stuff. I know every once in a while I miss things. All right, some people collect like 500 here. So at the end of the uh, bill is 500. And so maybe they collect all the 500 bills that they find. Jaybird's here, Buffalo. We don't. Uh, 1975, if that was a 1975, that's not. But you might save those because someone might pay an extra little premium for their birth year. 1869, if someone was born in 1869, prove it, I would give this note to you. Also looking for loon notes. If we find them, we'll show you what they are. Oh yeah, keep going back and forth here. So 0600 not enough of any one number. This one has three sevens on it. You get like five, six, or seven sevens, people will do it. It is a lot of cash. Heinrich Schnelter, Schnittier, good to have you here. We are going through some currency, looking for some rare notes, some different dates, star notes, anything. The other thing we like to collect on this channel is if we find something that's written on and uh, we try to decipher why it was written on, what is it, what's the message on there? Exactly. Sometimes they got some really cool stuff. Sometimes it's Braun collecting dollars as a stripper. We know his stage name is Cookie. Three zero four zero four zero. If that was a one zero there, that might be somewhat collectible with the zeros. It also has some ink on it here from where the bank has stamped it when they put them in stack and stamp it. So that's got some stuff on there. It says CVS on it. That might be from CVS Pharmacy. Not enough to be interesting. Uh, somebody here wrote this on here. Let me show you over here and over here. It's a I heart A. So we can only speculate what that means. I love astronauts. I I love apples. Yeah. Could be anything. Maybe A was a, a friend. Maybe uh, A is something you buy at a strip club. You never know. You never know. That's why they're fun to look at. Two thousand. If it was two thousand one thousand, that'd be cool. This is two thousand one thousand sixteen. Sandy Astroglide. <laughs> Jose Hernandez, I collect several things like guitar, die cast, real cards. Uh, I could never collect money. I'm too busy spending it. Yes, exactly. This is the reason this hobby is fun is because you can collect them, have fun. And if you get bored, just go spend them. It's not like you're playing a premium, paying a premium for them. If you're buying bills from a uh, currency collection store or something like that, or you're paying retail, then possibly it becomes an expensive hobby. This one's a little off center. Notice how over on this edge, there's more of a, uh, a edge to it right here. You can see it on that. And then a little thicker down here. So it's kind of offset up, but not enough. If it was off print and the ink was cut off, it might be a collectible item. It's just neat to notice. Flipping through the fives, two $5 bills out of the entire $1,000 of the fives, collectible, very exciting. That was really cool. They were back-to-back, -back, which uh, indicates they were either part of someone's collection or there was a whole stack of star notes that was broken in. Uh, checking in from Laos. Thanks for being here. Random stacker just recently. I found two silver watching quarters in my pocket change. 36 and a 62. Very cool. Very nice. All right, I'm going to turn off the air conditioner now. It was like 80 degrees here today. Very nice. It'll be cold this weekend. All right, next up, $20 bills. Then we'll get to the ones. We're going to do the ones starting at the top of the hour. It's about two minutes from now. 
So there's uh, $2,000 in a stack of 20s. This is the uh, current bill that most everyone sees the most of. Uh, there are hundreds out there, quite a few hundreds in Vegas, but most people don't have these. I remember a guy that collected $1,000 bills. Uh, $1,000 bills are highly collectible. Yeah, so if you can find them, they probably cost $2,500 or so. All right, let's go through the 20s real quick. There's not going to be anything here. We might find a couple star notes. They're prevalent, but, uh, you know. And then we probably won't find any of the older stuff either. But I did find, with all the eights on it that one time, or no, I'm sorry, all the ones, all the ones, eight ones across, that uh, was fantastic. What's this one here? Six four four eight four four eight six. Uh, sort of. Kind of caught my eye. Flapping through. Five sevens in the beginning or the end would be really cool. Twenties. Flapping through. These are hard to collect. If, this is, again, very expensive hobbies to collect $20 bills. So unless it's something uber collectible or fun, we probably won't keep it. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. We go live every night, and we're on both channels right now. We're in Las Vegas Private Eye trying to get to 4,000 subscribers. And we're on uh, Cash or Crash Las Vegas Live trying to get to 22,500 tonight at least. If we can, that's only 100 away. Uh, we go higher, even 23,000 would be awesome if we can get there. We'll see how long we go because later plan is to do hood cakes. There's one, two, three, four ones in a row. Just about exciting. Just about, just about, just about, not quite, just about. Nin okay, here's a, here's a birth year note. All right. So other than the year that it was actually uh, printed, and this is the series of 2013, it's not necessarily 2013, this starts with 1967 on the front. So let's say you're born September 10th, 1967, uh, and then an extra one on there for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, that could be collectible to you. Maybe not to anyone else, but maybe to you. 1994, here we go. 1994, right there. Get real expensive setting those aside because they're not that rare, but they're fun. I collect another hundred a thousand dollar bill every time my dog goes to the vet. Yes, different kind of bill, different kind of bill. I bet you the other oh, check those notes going through the tills after closing. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of people that go through this stuff. I mean, these have probably been touched so many times. They've probably been touched more than. Uh, yeah. All right. Flipping through, having fun. Going pretty quick on the 20s. Once we get to the ones, that's where it gets exciting. We have a thousand of them to go through, and we will find an abundance of star notes. Get your guess in now. How many star notes do you think we'll find out of a thousand bills? We found as many as 30 in one session and zero in other sessions. So you never know. But star notes seem to be prevalent in the older bills. Uh, even when we get the newer bills, we find one or two. Uh, but set those aside. There's a collector that loves them. Once that person gets tired of collecting them, we'll probably put them out for everyone. 20s. So 226625. Two, almost. All right, now it's too hot, so the air conditioner is back on. Holy cow, it's that time of year here in Vegas. Where are you watching from? Give me a hashtag. We got some we got Kissy Cat says three, Keon Green says 13. Is this dual stream? Yes, it is. We have uh, widescreen on private eye, and we have oh we got a, there we go. We have a vertical on Cash or Crash. So Private Eye will always be the horizontal stream. So keep that in mind. Look at that. 00690848 Star Note. It's a 2017 series. Uh, I'll put it aside. Let's see what we'll do with that one. Nothing, I mean, not like a super special other than it's a Star Note. Let's see how many of those we get. It's amazing that they're not super, super rare in the 20s. There's, there's so many 20s out, that's probably why. And a star note, for those of you that are asking, hey, what's a star note? So a replacement note is another name for them. When the, Mint, when the Bureau of Printing and Engraving is making these, uh, you, you, oh, Miss Frog saw my dessert, cool. Oh, Wisconsin checking in. Uh, when they're making these in sheets of 32 at the U.S. Printing Engraving, U.S. Uh, Bureau of Printing and Engraving, if they come across and they're inspecting when they find one with errors on it, they will destroy that sheet and then put in a sheet of replacement notes in its place. And that's what the star is there for, to indicate that it's a replacement note. 
So that's why they're not as prevalent as the other notes and have some collectability to them. Your opposite of what you said you would always be, allegedly. Exactly. Opposite always. That's our rule here. Never pay attention to anything. Don't follow us for advice on anything. Don't look for any kind of leadership in your life here on these channels and just enjoy it for what it is. If we say we're going one place, we might go another place. So anyone that ever calls me, hey, you said this. You're exactly right. I lied to you on the channel. Because that's what we do. We don't want you to know. It's a secret. Only 22,406 people should know at a time and growing. Uh, this one, 31511711. So it has one, two, three, four, five ones on here. If those were all sevens or eights, maybe. Ones are hard to win liars poker with and, you know, five of a kind. But, uh, you know, getting there. And we have not found a bunch of the zeros at the beginning, too. You start finding zero, zero, zero at the beginning, that's... Uh, that's uh, collectible. The people like the low numbers. Cranking through. Zero, five, zero, zero. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they're collectible. And then if I don't get excited, I can't imagine trying to pawn them off on someone. Going, hey, this is exciting. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure you can see it or not. The metal strip in the 20. All right, right here. Let me see if I can get the reflection on this. Over here, there we go, where are we at? Right there. So notice there's like right here, so you can see that there's a sparkly, can you see that? Maybe not. And over here, it's sparkly right here. There's a metal strip in this $20 bill. This is part of what the government does to make sure they're legit. Uh, let me do some work on it here. Don't do this at home. Yeah, it's a little bit more. You can see a little bit more of the metal there. A little bit more of it. Anyway, those are in there to uh, indicate that they're real when they go through machines and all that. Yeah, if you get a bunch of these, they can track the metal with their secret government ray guns and stuff. But anyway, that's in there. Elizabeth, how you doing? Marlene Roberts, San Diego checking in. Cool. Kearney Mesa, very nice. All right, let's keep going here. Eight eight eight, not enough. Now, if I found a five 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 one two one two, like the TV movie uh, phone numbers, those are fun to keep. Uh, nothing older. You start getting back into the '90s. You got the different design. The early 2000s had a different design, but they, again, did all kinds of things on this to stop counterfeiting, because counterfeiting is big. So two, 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 five, six, uh, so there's four twos on that one. You know, one more stack of 20s. So far, we found one $20 star note and one. There's a bunch of twos there as well. So now I'm curious. There's two, 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 five, four, five, two. The other two, two, two we had, was that similar, or was it just different two, two, twos? So we're gonna go back and find it. There it is. So PK, they're different, but 222, 25, this is 22256. Interesting. Both 2017A, very similar notes, way far apart though in the world of actual. But I'll set that aside because I know someone likes the deuces. Hello, Marathi Tube. Good to have you here. Very informative video there, Kissy Cat. We try to do our best to inform. Coming up, though, don't forget, we have this bundle of 1,000 U.S. $1 bills coming out. That's where we're going to find the star notes. That's where we're going to zoom out a little bit, and we're going to crank through those and find some star notes. Time for the beast walk. Say hi to the beast for us. All right, here we go. Last stack of 20s, $2,000 worth of 20s. Here we go. Flipping them over. Some ones. So radar note, if this was a 1192-2911, that's called a radar note because it's read the same way forward and backwards. This one has a couple different numbers there, but it got real close. So 1192-5411, but that was a 29. Then you have a radar note. Those are very collectible just because they're scarce. There's only like one per billion or whatever it is. 
billion dollars that is. Twenty one twenty. Someone either has a favorite music album or that's how much money they had going to the bank. They didn't want to write a note, so they write it on the bills. NK, this is North Korean. Look at that. North Korean NK right there. I'm not making it up. Flip them over. So as you can see, star notes are not everywhere. They're harder to find than you would think. Some have really cool serial numbers and are very collectible. Others are just generic, but people like to put them away. Be nice to have a whole 100 stack wrapped in a paper of star notes. Two, three, 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 one, two, three, six. Almost fun. Okay, this is it on the 20s. Time for the big stack. We're gonna cut it open direct from the Federal Reserve Supply Bank here in Las Vegas, Nevada. These bills could have been in a number of strippers' G-strings, could have been put in a cup from a beggar, could have been fed into a slot machine, could have been in a till at a grocery store, could have been anywhere in Las Vegas, and we're going to touch them next without gloves on. What could happen? NMP, Lil Chucky, I'm cool, good for you, good for you. Hope it works out for you. The fact that you had to advertise that, you know, I hope you find a friend. All right, let's zoom out a little bit here. There we go. Zoom out a little bit here. Can you see the whole stack? Very cool. I'll zoom out a little bit on this one. This is a fresh stack of older $1 bills. I'm going to cut it without cutting the money, allegedly. There's that, and this one's a little more difficult. There we go, and it springs free. So these are where we find the gems and the gold and the fun. Put a few over here. The date on these are, what do we got here? We have March 25th of 24, around noon is when these were put together. On March 25th of 24 at the Federal Reserve branch here in Las Vegas. Armando de Leon, let me wash your windows at the English. Ah, nobody's stopping you. Come on down. We're not going to pay you. We have people for that. Okay, flipping through. We're going to look for serial numbers, star notes, older notes. There's some 2021s are now very, very common. It's not like before when you get all excited. There's a 88, 89, so some stacks. As they come out, people break them up, put them in uh, circulation. It's not unusual to find $1 bills that are uh, next to each other with the same serial number. I'm going to zoom back in this one a little bit. See if that works for you. Flip these over. Get a better shot at it. Could have been in real bronze. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, gold is up. M uh, money's down. Uh, it fluctuates all the time. We are not an investment channel. We have an investment channel you can tune into on KleptoCoin. We certainly recommend KleptoCoin. Zoom a little bit more down. You can see the bill a little bit better. And we're going to zoom in you a little bit more. There we go. KleptoCoin. It's the only uh, fake money we endorse. 2017, 40, 36, 39. This can get real boring if there's nothing to find. It's all fresh money, so we're hoping we run through some really cool things here. If you see anything, shout it out. Let me see if I can figure out how to make this work over here again. We had it really good moments ago. They're closer on that one. And you guys can still see up top here. Very good. Uh, it's not like the scratchers. I can't read those notes so fast. Well, if I don't go this fast, then it's going to uh, take us way too long. Okay, here's a thick eight. How many people out there don't doesn't like a thick eight? Uh, King Ferran won. How hard is it to find silver dollars? Silver dollars are easy to find. You just have to pay for them. You can't find them in circulation. Uh, but you can find them anywhere. Here's a 028. We find that the third number all the time is the one that's getting messed up somehow. This is a nice 2013. 
028. Here's 038, also with a thick eight on it, also 2013. Different branch. This one has a bunch of fours on it. So four is somewhat of a lucky number. I'm gonna keep that one. That one, uh, someone might enjoy that with the fours on it. Have you seen the movie Mad Money? Yes. B, yeah. So here's the third one again. The five is all messed up on that. I wonder if that's a pivot point. Anyone know what a pivot point is? And I'm not talking about the one in the dorm room in college when you were experimenting. Lots of really cool stuff. No money yet worth pulling out. Let's see some star notes. Come on, star notes. 2013s. So far, 2013 seems to be the oldest one we've seen. Also looking for the web fed notes from the late 90s. You can find them. These even smell like strippers. 2017. So 2006s are hard to find. Here's a 2003A series. They're harder to find, don't know why. Just because they're older, I guess, maybe. Economy went through a turn down in the 09, 10, 11. So maybe they all got used. This one's got stuff all over it. That's post-production stuff. If it's production stuff, it be worth some money. Uh, looking for X notes, X on the end. Okay, nothing in that first batch. That was disappointing. All right, let's keep going. Four is bad luck number. Most Asians, hotels avoid the fourth floor and four numbers. So four is bad luck, eight is good. All right, I'll keep that going. Baby oil residue. Yeah, because I mean, Keep in mind, and, and for those of you that are looking for a career in entertainment uh, or like to, like to support entertainers, this is the preferred way, okay? Some people like to do it like this because they think it's really cool and they get a lot closer, okay? Not so much. The girls don't like that or the gentlemen don't like that one. This one, it's harder to do and it takes a lot longer. And then if these were $100 bills and this was Miami, then you would do it more like that. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways to uh, use a one dollar bill. Hundreds are better if you're if you're out there balling with singles. Yeah. Exactly. Twenty twenty one. There we go. There's a star note. Here's our first one. First star note. It's twenty seventeen A F series. It's an F series. Zero three eight one eight two four nine star. And both stars have the hollow center. Nothing wrong with that, Bill. Setting it aside. We got our first star dollar. 113910. Oh, so close. 200 off from being a repeater note. 11391039. That's 11391339. Uh, paper, paper money origami. Yes, you do paper money origami. Exactly. Very cool. We got one. 2006. Don't see very many of those either. Double A's. The different letters, different Federal Reserve branches. G, Chicago, Illinois. If you uh, were looking at those and wondering why they're there. J is Kansas City, Missouri. There's K for Dallas, Texas. E, Richmond, Virginia, and so on. I don't collect so much by that, but it's neat to see if you're from a certain area and you want to collect your own H is not Hawaii, St. Louis, Missouri. Caddy food bank faced. Yeah, they didn't bank face any of these. Remember when they used to have to do that? I mean, you couldn't make a deposit unless you did that. These are uh, screw you faced. Here you go. Here's some money. Good luck. Some more two thousand. Some older notes in here. Two thousand threes, two thousand nines. It's a better stack. All right. Here's some glitter. See the glitter on that one? Maybe. Maybe not. I wonder where that came from. Uh, double zero, double zero on this one here. Uh, not if it was zero 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 zero, totally collectible. That's okay, but not super collectible. Okay. Also, the most collectible item is the one that you want to collect. If you think there's something really cool, Lori P, how you doing? 
Is there one from Minneapolis and St. Paul? Yes, there is. I'll find it for you. Here's San Francisco's the L. Um, Dallas K. Oh, got another star. Here we go. Another star. 03236680. 03236680. That's two. Hopefully you got your guesses in on how many we're going to find. We have two. Powerball, not tonight. Is it tonight? It could be tonight. I'm not sure how that works. I don't think we, we don't have any tickets. I probably should have got some. Double D. 2013 Double D. 11 to go for Keon Green, exactly. So Cleveland is D. J is Kansas City. G, we said, was uh, Chicago. Let's see what else we got here. K is B, New York. Federal Reserve, J, that Kansas City. C, Philadelphia. Uh, F is Atlanta, Georgia. I, Minneapolis, Minnesota. There you go, Minneapolis. Minnesota, the I series right there. And all the bigger bills used to have that on there too. Uh, but now they have just this Federal Reserve mark on the newer bills. But that's Minneapolis. Back-to-back -back Minneapolises. Interesting. All right, let's find some stars. we got two stars so far. Sevens. Here we go. Now, this is semi-collectible because of the sevens on it. Seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven at the end. We're going to keep this one just because sevens are a lucky number. And there's five of them. I like to collect hundreds. Someday I would like to build a wall, stacks of hundreds, and then a uh, fortress of cash. So currently, in the uh, cannabis industry, there's a lack of federal bank deposits going in. So they're, they're buying real estate with that money. But I'm guessing they're probably lining the uh, walls with it too. Yeah, it'd be fun to buy a foreclosure house from one of those people and then have the installation be all those hundies. That's my dream. That'll be a movie I write someday. And people will go and be asking what money is by the time we write that movie. 2017. All right. So we get a couple stacks through. Let's keep going. There's a guy that built a beer can house in Houston. Well, it's Houston. You have a couple of 1928 $2 red seals. Nice. I think 28 was the first year of the small no smaller notes, right? Then there's tons of 1934 notes out there. They made those for centuries, for, for decades, until the uh, 1950, I think. 1934 series ran through 1950. All right, where's my stars? Crank it through. There's a U note. So U is a higher letter. So that's, this series was going on for a while. And so U, V, W, X. I've never seen a Y and I've never seen a Z. And House of Bottles? <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. We'll be live later in a horizontal uh, hood cakes. If I was out driving the thing around for a while today and I put some oil in it and I did some work on it. I was still making the noise. I put those videos out. I did order a part off of Rock Auto today. So when that gets in, there's a chance we'll put that in and make it better. 38333325. The 8 looked like a 3, so I got all excited, but that's not anything special. To me, anyway. Could be to you. Come on. I'd like to find a silver certificate. That'd be really cool. There's another Janet Yellen. LB13. Yeah, I sure wish these were all the same direction, but they're not. You know how hard it is to put ones into a slot machine? It takes forever because each one has to go in and it does a doo 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 doo. You gotta put the next one in. People hear all that money going in, they look over and you got like six bucks in it. And you take a bunch of these to the cage, they're gonna look at you a little strange, but they'll probably run them for you. Probably. Rob Morris, Triple Frontier, Netflix. I think the house walls were stuffed with cash and plastered over. Okay, cool. Found two star notes on 20s and 5s in the last two weeks. Cool, James. Very good. Yeah, if nothing else, set them aside. Here we go. Got another one. It's a 2017 Steve Mnuchin. So it's F116171721. So it's got a really cool star. It does have a little bit of ink from the bank on it. No tears, no rips. That's actually a nice one. It's a lower number, a lot of 1s, and a star note. 
Does anyone know about the million dollar display? The one downtown? I've been there a few times. It's there. You can't take it. They frown upon you taking samples. There's an S Note LS 2013 CC LT. Bunch of eights and sixes. All right, we got a few stars so far. How many more do you need there, Keon? Star, star notes are harder to find. I wouldn't say hard to find, harder to find. Uh, Steve Mnuchin, the future owner of TikTok? Possibly. There's some people out there that could uh, do that. Not sure what it changes, but yeah. Those of you TikToking. Hood cakes tonight. That's the plan. Four hood cakes tonight, driving around Las Vegas. So join us on Cash or Crash Las Vegas Live. And it will be vertical. Yay. Let's see. You show me some. There's a U, another U note. 2013. Not going to hold it. I'm going to let that one go. Someone else can find that one. Uh, 1665. 1901. Nobody's alive to get that one. 2009's floating through. Paper's older and nastier. Let's go, Star Notes. Let's go. 2017. How many years ago is that? Isn't that crazy? But it waited, they waited till 2021 for a new series. So 2017 came out, then 2017A. They've been making those notes ever since. Here we go, 1999. Look at that. Look how old that baby looks. 1999. Damn, that's 25 years ago, this series. 25. Uh, Mad Black, that's right, Professional Gigolo. Yeah, the Binion's display is fun if you get a picture with it. 25 years ago for that. Seems like just the other day we were... Worrying about Y2K. What a scam. Y2K, which led to the dot-com bubble. Because everyone is buying everything from everyone, regardless of what it was. Profits went up, and as soon as the uh, turn of the century happened, nobody bought anything, and all those companies collapsed. Allegedly. I don't know. I saw a movie on it. Nothing. No stars in that one. No stars in that one. Okay, let's go to the next one. I was a freshman in high school in 1999, says Random Stacker. 2000 party over. Oops. <laughs> Out of time. That's right. Hood cakes, star horizontal, end up vertical, possibly. So tonight should be fun if you've never seen us with the hood cakes. We're celebrating the 20,000. We're already to 22,500 almost subscribers. 20,000 subscribers. Hood cake. So we're going to have to, when we hit 30,000, we're going to have to do something very special. So this right here looks like there's some extra ink from the uh, printing of it. Hard to tell if there is or not. Unfortunately, there's red ink on it here. I'm not sure if we can see that or not. There's some red ink. Where is it? Where are we at? There it is. Some red ink there. Uh, but there's a little extra ink here on the 7. If it was a little more defined, I might keep that one. Let's go, stars. You were already bitter in 1999? Oh, my gosh. Let it go. Be like me and don't let things bother you. You know, like traffic or ATMs that don't work or machines that don't work. Uh, coming out with a T-shirt. says, fix your machines. He's trying to get some ordered, but the guy said he couldn't print them yet until he gets a part. Lower numbers, maybe. Come on, stars. We got three so far. Someone guessed three. We're right on the money there. A study was done on a circular currency. It was determined that 79% had one milligram amount of those bills, 50% of one million. Uh, are you talking about the uh, coca or other stuff? Not sure what you're talking about. But yes, they're all contaminated with something. Do not put them in your There's a Q note. For some reason, I like Q notes. And it's a 2009 Q. Wow. This one's nice. 
2009s are hard to find. It's a Q note. It's a high series. We're going to hold on to that one. 2009 Q. Q just seems like an odd note to have. I don't know why. Some 2021s everywhere now. When they first came out, we were saving them. We didn't know for sure they were actually going to make them. I like a Q note. So we started out real strong. Oh my, oh my, one note away. One, one note away from a radar note, okay? 8144449. One note away. This is one off of a radar note. Damn. So I'm going to keep this one to remind me how disappointed I was when I found it. One away. Damn. So close. You can't get any closer than that. Oh, I guess on the other side you could. 5353-6335. Five, three, five, three, 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 five. Almost. Dang. Used to find some loon notes, but not for a while. It's with the L and then the N at the end with two zeros mixed in. Let's find me some stars. No way you collect dollars. Yes. It's a lot of fun. Radar is uh, when, the, when it reads the same forward and backwards. So uh, if this was the 81444418, it's like R-A-D-A-R, -A -A -R, radar note. So that's why they're collectible because they're harder to get. They run, uh, you know, one every so many of them. Uh, but 81444418 would have been worth some extra money. But, uh, yeah. You got uh, some misprinted H-Dogs? Cool. Yeah, anything with the... Uh, any misprinting on them, because they do such a uh, stringent job of making sure that they're perfectly printed, that anything with printing errors or missing ink, if you're missing the green on it, the serial numbers and all that, those are really collectible. Happens periodically. But those are the kinds of things, when they find them, they pull them out, and that's what the star notes replace. They destroy the bad ones and put out the star notes. Come on, star notes. Surprised. I'm going through relatively quickly because there's a thousand of them. If I see something unique, I'll stop. 1996. So who uh, who was born in 96? You find one of these, put it in your wallet, never be broke. 1996 birth year note. But you can't have that one. 13, 17. Not every year is there a note printed with a date on it. You collect vintage cartoon glasses from restaurants. Do you have the full uh, Grimace set from uh, McDonald's? Look for notes with ones, sixes, and eights, and nines. It can be read upside down. I'll look for that. One, six, eight, and nine. Sometimes we'll take these notes and play Kino with uh, any unusual notes that we find. We'll take them and use them as Kino numbers. Oh, we got one. We got one. We got this one here with the TD written on it. Uh, we don't want that note. But then, boom, here we go. Star note. F10385285. Star note. How many is that? Four? Fantastic. Starting to build. 0100. Zero, zero, zero. Need a bunch of zeros at the beginning. I think the first time we did this, we found a bunch of them with four zeros, and we're like, oh, they're everywhere. We don't need those. Wish I had them now. Two numbers together, not a big deal. Three, not that hard. Zero, zero, four, need a couple more zeros. Nine, nine, 13. There we go. Flip them over, last few of this stack. J A K A. Alright, at the end here. One, two, three, four, five fours at the end. So again, some people fours are lucky, other people are not. But having five in a row, that's collectible. We'll hold on to that one. Six is better, seven is great, eight is the best. Eight in a row. 
cuddly cat. Not sure what that means. Keon knows a guy. He's a horizontalist. Who's a horizontalist? Notice that the I, this is your Minneapolis bank. The I is also the beginning of the uh, serial number here. You got the I and then the I. The D and the D. A and A and so on and so forth and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let it be written, let it be done. Every other one is upside down almost. There we go. Got contacted today about a hotel job opportunity in New Orleans. And I said, not interested in leaving Vegas, baby. Vegas is way too much fun for me. Yeah, but we have gambling. I said, no, you don't. You have casinos, but you don't have gambling. You don't have the people. You don't have Fremont Street. You don't have the ability to do what we're doing right now. Oh, uh, come on, buddy. It's New Orleans. I'm like, exactly why I'm not going. But thank you for the interest. It's another uh, Marriott property. They don't know what they're missing. They think because they have casinos, they're Vegas, but they're not. Vegas is Vegas, baby. All right, 2221. Should have been 2222. Plus, I love it here. It's so great here. If you haven't been to the uh, Pepper Club yet, you got to come out, come see me. English Hotel. By the way, this is the English Hotel right here. This are pool towels. Right here, it's got the logo on it. Come out and use a pool. If you're not a guest of the hotel and you want to use a pool, just go to resortpass.com. Look for the English Hotel. You rent a cabana, just public access, whatever. There's some with food and beverage packages. All at resortpass.com. I drive to Bloxy every so often. It's not Vegas, but they will take your money. Yes, they will. Is 0444-449 worth anything? Uh, not to me, possibly to someone if you know fours and nines are their thing. Uh, but if they were, if all those fours were in a row, possibly. When they're, when they're split up, they have less appeal. When they run consecutively, they have a better appeal. Uh, the most appeal, though, comes on a banana. Thank you. Tonight's dad joke brought to you by Dirty Money. Who knows where that one was? This one's seen some action here. Did Animal Rescue back in Katrina, New Orleans? I'll never go back. It's an interesting place. I've been there one time before. I've never returned. Here's a star note. This one's beat up. This one's seen some life. This one's been in a G-string. Uh, L0684863 for star. It's not torn, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep going here. A couple more stars. Be close to where we want to be. Hoodfoot New Orleans would be a whole different meaning. Yes, yes, probably. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, hi everyone, it's Jennifer Lee, Railway RC. What's going on, Idaho Potato? Welcome everybody. We're down to three more stacks. We're, uh, we're doing okay. Can we find seven or eight more in three more stacks. I don't know. The answer may shock you. We're going to go through a whole run here of star notes, as far as you know. Coming up a little bit later on, though, we're going to, when we end this one, I'll charge a little bit more, some power, and then we'll get out and do our thing. You'll look for a notification. So there's a run of notes here 17 is 08 or 987, so on. They're older, older, older than they uh, need to find. They're just current notes. I bust down my fresh notes that way too. I'll put older notes between them so they're easy to count. This one, no. Oh, sometimes the ink looks different. Mostly 2017 stuff. Let's go, a couple more stars would be great. Five or six per thousand, not bad. That's uh, a little under half a percent. There's another one. This is a K12-15-78-72. K12-15-78-72, 2017 series, not the 2017A. Uh, it's been folded a few times. A little bit of a nick on the end there, but overall, it's a star note. We'll run through all our collectibles here in a moment, so stick around for the big finish at the end. 
we'll see what we got. Go back through them. Sometimes I do that and I don't remember why I picked the note. Why did I put that aside? Three or four, three, four, three, five, five, eight, five, almost. Something cool. So if we were doing the Kino numbers, someone wrote 36 on this one, so we'd play 36. We'd find all the bills with different numbers written on them, and then we'd play those. So this one's got 36 on it, but not today. That'll be another day. We have cake to do today. 2021s. More 21s. 82. 81. Now, if you get one with both, uh, with the same thing on the back and the front, 39, 38, no. Show me some stars. Looking for them stars. Now, there is not a metal strip in the $1 bills. If someone took the time to counterfeit these, the government's like, yeah, go for it. Imagine what it would take and how much it would cost per note to counterfeit ones. Any pie notes? I have not seen any pie notes. The 3.142512, whatever's. I have a $5 HG. Oh my gosh, Vicky. What's H oh, HG and then 000, 000, 000, 0000035? Very nice. That's very collectible. Very collectible. Exactly how many of us are still excited? Well, Gail, everyone but you. How's that? Jon Snow. I'm sorry. If this is all uh, South Australian money, then it'd be exciting, right? We're down to this and one other stack. LU. It's the FU notes that we uh, set aside. Seven five six eight eight two one zero. Almost all different numbers. Four zero eight two one. Here's one with all different numbers. I just said it. Look at that. Four zero eight two one. Oh, double fours. Never mind. I got so excited. Double four. Double fours, got knocked out by the double fours. That would have been really cool. Four nine zero one three zero. Oh, double zeros, threes. I mean, everyone, you think you got one, and then there's something duplicated on it. So close. I was very excited there for a moment. Could you tell? Coach Hood Food and Dollar Tree shenanigans tonight? Possibly. Definitely the uh, going to do the hood cakes. The Marijuana, Linen, and Cotton Planters Association. <laughs> wow. We got this. Down to about $130 worth left to go. 2017 new bills. There's still a bunch of new bills and safes, vaults around the world. 005. They slowly come out over the years. I always wanted to be a vault teller back in the day so I could look at all the money, pull out the collectible stuff. Coin shop in Alaska that I worked at, uh, the vault tellers would bring down the stuff they found, the off-center pennies. They used to buy, buy the bag, coins would be shipped in a bag from the mint. You could go through them, put them in rolls, count them, stack them, etc. Now they usually come boxed or bagged or whatever. It's not like it used to be. The good old days are over. Now it's the days. If you're just joining us, be sure to hit that subscribe. What's a star worth? A couple bucks for a star note, unless it's got something super fancy on it. So we're making 100% profit when we find a star note. Then uh, the $5 star note, probably worth seven bucks. A uh, 10 would be worth 12. 20, probably worth 23 bucks, that kind of a thing. This is a small premium. Last ones, here we go. And then we'll go through what we found. It's got a really fancy serial number. Some of these are worth thousands of dollars. I'm a cashier and musician, so I spot patterns immediately. Cool, exactly. A lot of math uh, stuff, yeah. Just sequences and shenanigans that go on paper money. Here again, the third number of the serial number on the top right side is always thicker, and it's definitely a pivot point at some point. There was a loose piece of equipment, but it's on different years and different notes. It's amazing how that one just consistently is thicker. Someone ought to call the government and tell them to fix their machines. 
Nothing there. We need at least one more star. What do you think? There's a GG note, Gambling Granny. D-A-D's. Still looking for one that's missing the green. The two there, the third number. 2021s. Now I got to put all these in stacks and put paper clips on them and prepare for uh, commerce after all this. Well, I want to do all this with you first. Share some time. Okay, we got something on here. What does that say? Something. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, stamp money out of politics. Don't know what that means. Stamp money out of politics. Stamp money out of politics? Seems like an interesting uh, issue to take up. Feed the homeless. Provide shelter for families. No, no, make mine say stamp money out of politics. How much are you up? Uh, we are up five or six already. Dollars. This is more about the enjoyment of it than it is uh, making money. Also, educating and training people. So when you look at your change, when you get money back at the store, look at it. You never know what you're going to find. It's amazing the stuff I've been handed back in stores. A lot of people look in a till and they see something that looks odd and they want to get rid of it because they think it's counterfeit or they don't want to have to count it. And so I always ask for the half dollars and the weird looking stuff. Some of my best finds have been weird stuff in a till. Here's another star note. We got one. Here it is from 2013. It's an L star. Where do you sell them? Uh, online, neighbors, collectors. This is a L0346164 star. Both stars are hollow. And we'll put that off to the side. Not the best condition one, but it is a star. Again, we're moments away from going through all of our finds. The value of anything is what someone is willing to pay you for it. I could say this note here, because it's got the H and the C on it, is worth $17 million. And the next person says that and 49 cents will get you a soda. Kimberly, how you doing? eBay, yeah, eBay's a place, but the shipping just chews it up. Macari, there's some other trading. Uh, I forget what the name. Uh, there's a trading one now that I've never done, but everyone talks about it when they buy junk from Goodwill. Offer up, I think. The 2006 in pretty good condition. Harder to find. Henry Rodriguez signature. I'm gonna put that aside just because it's harder to find. The older ones like that in that good condition. 2013. And that's it. We okay, so that's all we have for today. It's ten thousand dollars. Used to recycle junk cars and under the back seat found all sorts of coins. Yeah, coins and couches and cars. That's the best. Linda Sweeney, hello, 71 Cowboys, August Ice. Is anyone taking notes? I hope. All right, here's what we found today. Oh, but before we do that, I had a box here sent to me. I want to open the box. Uh, it's from a shipping house, so it doesn't say who it's from. Let's see what we got here. This came in the mail today. Let me zoom out for you. Y'all can enjoy with me. Hopefully it's not something that will get cut. I'll take a quick peek in to make sure it's something that we can show on the internet. If you do send stuff, it's always nice to put a note what it is and appreciate it. You know, if it's a powdery substance, don't send it. It's got plastic on it. Okay, all right, it appears to be safe. Here we go. Dakota Miller, I love collecting ones. Oh, it's a hat, very cool. I am Cash or Crash. Wow. Wow. Look at this. 2024. Oh, I love dates on stuff. Thank you, whoever sent this. Fantastic. We're going to wear this tonight. This will be uh, worn tonight when we go out. I am Cash or Crash. Very cool. 2024 date on the back. Wow. Very cool. Thank you. Put that right there. Wow. I'm a hat collector now. I am led to believe Coach isn't reading this chat. You're absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. I am not reading the chat. 
Uh, here we go. Oh, he'll bail money around. So this was the 2006 that's harder to find. Really, uh, I like cursive too. There's a cursive signature on here. Nobody reads cursive or writes cursive anymore because of computers and such. So we got that one. Here's our first star note. We had one star note, two, three. This one had a bunch of fours on it. Four star notes. This is the almost radar note. Keeping the cue. Number five star note. Had a bunch of sevens. Six star notes. Seven star notes. And just like Shrek, stuck at seven. Uh, here's the one, a bunch of twos on a 20. We had one $20 star note out of all those 20s. Out of $8,000, we had one $20 star note. And then when we started out, we found these two $5 star notes. Same series, a few numbers away from each other. 2017, very cool condition. Those are our finds for today. So very cool. Appreciate y'all being here. Now I get to clean up this entire mess. Actually, I got a box I can put all the money in now. I wonder if that'll fit. Let's take a look. Oh, it's perfect. Watch this. This keeps me, I can do it tomorrow now. I don't have to do it tonight. I'll bump my head on the camera there. We'll stuff it in here. And we'll hide the box somewhere. We'll put it under the tree. No one will even think to look there. What do uh, true binary? What do the, the, the uh, what do the true binary that repeats forward and backwards? If they if they're forward and backward, they call them uh, star notes. I mean, I'm sorry, radar notes. R A D A R spells the same forward and backward. If that's what you're talking about. Thank you. Appreciate y'all being here. Need t-shirts says we are not scratcher channel. Uh, working on the fix your machines t-shirts coming out soon. Put the collectible money over here by the awesome hat almost done putting the money away so if you ever see me walking around with a box like this yeah put it under the tesla there you go ron how you doing vicky splits thank you for being here oh yeah i could be i could be one of those people that transports stuff and things like look at that i'm doing a good job here hold on we're gonna, we're gonna make it work There we go. Put the band on it. I'll mail it back. You're gonna, gonna send it to Raymond? You think so? All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. We'll be live here in a little bit. It's 6:50 right now, looks like. So, uh, seven uh, by eight o'clock or sooner, we will be out doing hood food and other stuff here in Las Vegas. Look for the uh, upcoming uh, notification right here on the internet. We'll see you guys later. Aloha. There you go. One more look-see. Yay, money. Appreciate y'all.